Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I am joining in um, Lucia from Tiho Creates and this is her open collaboration and it's called What's Up Wednesday. And you guys, I just got out of church, went to mass this morning at nine. Um, it's 10, 10 a.m. I got to mass a little bit late a few minutes late because i had to drop off augustine at code ninjas and you will see a, a little short video uh, that i did of augustine before i dropped him in um, and um after that i came to church so i went to the mass and all of that and i stayed a bit longer because i was talking to father pat which is um, the priest here of this church in Clifton Park. It's St. Edward's the Confessor. It's a big Catholic community, a big Catholic church. Um, it's beautiful inside. I wish I could have done a video to show you. Maybe next time I will. Um, I did take a picture though. I'll put a picture in. And um, I was talking to Father Pat because I haven't said anything to any of you guys. Um, I think I only said something to Nona Grace in, in a comment in one of her videos because she was talking about a ghost story um, and I did say something to her but um, a few weeks ago something happened uh, some some weird things happened at my home um, which made my husband really nervous and he told his parents and my parents and they were all a bit worried so um, they said that I should look into that and I haven't noticed anything happening lately but I will still you know take some caution and do what they told me to do so I was talking to Father Pat and I explained to him that we had some issues happening like um, Augustine was like in the morning um, laying down in, the, in my bed and all of a sudden the TV turned on and I don't have like um, the timer to turn on the TV or anything. I don't usually watch TV unless I'm with my husband watching a show or you know something on Netflix or whatever but by myself I then just sit and watch something. I, I'm always doing some other things instead of watching TV you know I watch YouTube. <laughs> while I'm doing my things. You know, if I'm cooking, I'm watching one of you guys on YouTube, or if I'm cleaning, I'm also watching you on YouTube. Even if I am vacuuming and I cannot hear you, but I'm watching you. So I'm always watching YouTube instead. So no, the TV doesn't have a timer or anything and just uh, turn on on its own and turn off on its own. So it was like weird. And Augustine was like, why is the TV on? Then another day, um, my husband uh, was going to bed and he had turned off all the lights and all of a sudden the lamp turned on on its own and things like that, you know? And then the one that was the worst though and what scared them the most was um, one day I was sleeping. I was, I was up late. What was I doing? I don't know, I was just up late, you know, one of those days that you just need to chill out and be on your own. And I just, uh, my husband went to bed and I stayed up and I was sitting on the couch, like, you know, watching a show or something on Netflix that I wanted to continue watching and just be by myself, you know, because I'm with like Augustine all day. And, you know, sometimes you just need to sit by yourself and just, even if you are not doing anything, just relax. So I was up and I fell asleep on the couch with the TV on and everything. I fell asleep on the couch. And then all of a sudden I wake up, it was like, 3 a.m. or I don't know what time it was but it was in the middle of the night I woke up um, feeling that someone was strangling me you know like choking me and I opened my eyes and I see like a shadow there you know it was so scary you guys so scary 
and I never dream of anything that I can remember you know I never dream I never have like bad dreams unless I'm super worried about something that I might have a nightmare but I don't you know I'm usually okay and Augustine and I pray every night before we go to bed Augustine prays he knows the Our Father the Hail Mary and he prays he prays every night before he goes to bed um so you know it's like I don't know I don't know what was that and it hasn't happened again after that but you know my mom was like you know get some holy water and Nona Grace also said get some holy water and you know put some holy water everywhere so I'm gonna do that I did talk to Father Pat like I said um, I have some holy water here I um, this is the only bottle I could find that it wasn't too big you know and I could put some holy water so I have holy water here um, there is a big fountain of holy water because the church was redone a few years ago it's much bigger now it can hold way more people and it's in a round in a circular um, way you know how the, the the pews are now so um, it can hold a lot of people because this church on Sundays is the day that more people come to mass and it gets super crowded so um, this is the church where my oldest son did his first communion and his confirmation and this is the church where Augustine is going to be having his uh, first communion also and I was just talking to this lady now and she was giving me all the information um, now because of COVID everything is online when my oldest son did it he used to come here you know after school and they would have activities with other kids with you know which were his classmates and they would have snacks and they would play and do things and now not anymore now everything is online and so they have to like watch these short videos and they have some activities and things that they have to do on their own like you know I don't know I'll tell you more when I see the activities because I have to sign him up but I remember um, my son Ado when he was getting ready for his confirmation he had to like go to a nursing home or do things like that you know um, volunteer at some place or go to a food pantry or stuff like that um, so I'm thinking maybe Augustine is going to have to do something similar to that maybe not so maybe not so much because he's younger you know the other one was he's, he was 17 for the confirmation or 16 I don't remember but yeah so Augustine is going to be um, doing his first communion hopefully next May next year in may so he's going to be so excited so excited yeah so i will tell you more about that when when i have all the information but yeah you guys so oh also i told you yesterday that i had a dermatology appointment and i did take a picture of this and i did share it with you guys this is um how to check for skin cancer and I did post the picture on my community post. And this is the other side. Um, how um, those spots that are cancerous look like and what to look for. So I did take a picture of this and put it on my community post. So those pictures, um, you like, you know, tap on the picture. Well, I tap on my cell phone, but you know, you can take a screenshot of those. Um, and then, you know, if the letters are too small, whatever, you can, you know, make it bigger. Or you can just go to the website, which is spotskincancer.org. 
and you can find some information right there so um, it's always good to check your body for suspicious moles and things like that because sometimes you know we don't realize that we have something and all of a sudden it starts getting bigger and darker and things turn into a problem so now so that's why you have to do this you know at least once a year you need to have a skin check especially if you are like me and you have so many things on your you know so many spots and marks on your body so um she you know every time i go i have to like put a gown on you keep your underwear on um put your gown on and um she start checking the scalp so i had to like take my thing off of my hair and have my hair loose and she looked on my scalp so if you have someone to that can look in your scalp you know he can like you can separate your um hair and look and see if you find something suspicious on your scalp that's something that somebody else has to do for you though because it's hard to look in our own you know scalp with all the hair but she looked through my scalp and through my whole body every arm every leg the inside of the leg the outside of the leg and everywhere so i have to um, continue watching the spots that are suspicious and she said that uh, at some point we might need to remove some but not for now so that's good that's good because i have so many other things to take care of first but you know we have those under control and we are watching and she was measuring again to see how much they had grown and all of that so it's good and she measures in millimeters i think millimeters yeah i think it was millimeters mm so you know you can use your ruler and in the centimeter in the centimeter side um the in between the centimeters those are millimeters so the little tiny lines so you can measure yourself so that's it for now you guys for this um what's up wednesday with lucia thank you so much lucia for having this open collaboration i'm gonna let you go because i've had you here for 12 minutes already and it's probably going to be a long video because i'm gonna attach the little video from augustine now at the end so guys thanks a lot for watching i hope you're having a great day love you Mwah. bye now hey guys happy wednesday hi say hi augustine from is me from augustine's favorite thing where are you going now to ninjas. and where are you learning there um how to code how to code on scratch right yep are you do you like it yeah i made a a birthday animation it's called it's i have two sprites build a bug which is a cockroach and giga which is i don't know a teletubby a what a teletubby a teletubby yeah kind of oh cool and and at the end joe the bug says happy birthday dear scratcher and i show it to the teacher and it's his birthday and he says he has a heart of gold oh <laughs> that was so nice of you augustine you guys, we are joining in today in uh, Lucia's from Tiho Creates. What's up Wednesday? So I just wanted to include this um, clip of Augustine so he could tell you all about Scratch and how he's doing at Code Ninjas. I'm going to put some pictures of Augustine. I took a picture on the first day and yesterday, and I will take another one today so you can see um, he's been having lots of fun. Right, baby? Yeah. Okay, say goodbye. Bye. Okay, goodbye. I'll talk to you soon, guys.